would you recommend this as like a set for like a be- a beginner who's seriously considering gouache or that's what I'm struggling with to yeah. be honest I don't know who necessarily to like recommend it to right I'm gonna jump straight to the point with this video oh god <laughs> there's a brand that's been going round and every single video that I've seen of it has been like sponsored and they've sent the product for free. Yes. So I wanted to use my hard earned coin, which I don't have many of at the moment. So this was like a big investment. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is food money? <laughs> Go on, so show them. I got this big Arteza gouache set and it's got 60 in it. It's a big, it, this is the biggest, I think, paint set we've ever owned. Props to my friend Melissa. She was the one who originally said like, oh Steph, you're an art channel. What do you know about Arteza? I was like, I don't know, to be honest, like I've heard about them from all over the place and everyone seems to be sponsored They're sponsoring everyone or except they, us. <laughs> or everyone's been given like free gift sets or something. But I was like, I honestly don't know like what the quality mm -hmm. of this product's like. So we are on this journey together. If I don't like it, I will tell you. Yeah, this is like one of if those love brutally it, honest things. I really hope that I end up loving it because this was 60 quid. <laughs> it was expensive, yeah. But I suppose the breakdown, like a pound or a dollar for one tube, it, you know, yeah. is pretty good. Like overall, even though it's like a pretty biggish hit, if I open this up, it's like a shoe box, how it opens. You wanna, you wanna hand there, hun? There you go. All the paints are stacked up inside here. There's so many. We've not tried them yet, but I did open up oh the box to have a little peek because I was excited about wash. Look at how many layers there are of these pits, right? That's two, three, four. Is it still going? Yeah, that's what I mean. Five. So there's five layers on each side. Yeah, that makes sense. Math. <laughs> And let me just get really close to us. If you're curious of the colours, these are... Oh my god, is it focused on it? If it's not focused on it, I'll put like an overlay of it so you can see all the colours that you get. I mean, something to like bear in mind is that at first looks, I'd say it's looking pretty professional so far. Yeah, it's in a nice box. <laughs> uh, it could be a bit of a awkward pain in the bum that it's all in like different sleeve things that you've got to stack up. Are they like arranged in, like like they come like this obviously, are, are they arranged in any particular order? Or? Yeah I think they are in like a colour order or at least um, or are they? And I think it even comes with like a, a shiny silver and gold so oh, I've never had, <laughs> I've never had a gold or silver uh, gouache oh, pet before okay, so okay. I'd be excited to give that a try out. See I can't share the excitement because I've used gouache about twice and you've seen one on a video, at least one, well, and I hate it. <laughs> we couldn't afford to invest into like a ton of like art supplies so we mm. had to quite carefully pick. And I thought we might as well get something that our art collection's kind of like missing at the moment because we've only got a small. It's definitely missing a lot of gouache like yeah. selection. We were looking at the watercolors as well, but the watercolors, I think. Oh, that does look pretty. It's pretty good, isn't it? Sorry, we'll show you this in a second. <laughs> but I do plan on like swatching all of these. You were very fortunate that you don't have to watch me oh swatch God. all of these. Might as well go for a nap for an hour. Oh my <laughs> God. But Adam does, and that's very unfortunate for you. You didn't tell me this bit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, we'll do a wash video, but you didn't say you were going to swatch oh, it's got 60 of them. Okay. 60 swatches. Be <laughs> right <stuck>. back. <laughs> oh, you can do a really cool time lapse of me. Oh, Christ. Just first to, impression. Yeah, quickly get a first impression. Oh, bubblegum. This one's called bubblegum pink. I'm going for a colour that I would be attracted to. Whoop. Okay, oh. well, it looks like the colour on the tube to start yeah, with. That's really good. Yeah, it does look pretty close. All right, so let's just get a little bit of this. So sparing. You've got 60 tubes, girl. You can, this is when you can afford to go all out. Oh, wait, does this one say that it's meant to be a shiny one? Oh, it is called pearl bubblegum. That might explain. Is there yeah, some glitters I in think it? it's um, kind of like a sheer kind of color. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best one to start with. <laughs> What's that one called? This one is called peach red. So it's not a <gasps> pearl one, right? Ooh. I'd say it's even more fluorescent, the paint, than, than the label. Than the label. Mm. Whoa. It's a hot pink, like the hot mama that's watching yeah, it right now. I almost wish that they'd called this colour, like, fluorescent, because that's like highlighter pink. It is, yeah, it's really good. And again, the representation to the tube is like spot on. No, I'd say that the tube is like a duller pink, whereas that comes out more fluorescent. Don't contradict me, I'm colorblind. 
<laughs> yeah, my boyfriend's colorblind, so... <laughs> to me, it looks perfect. Good, to, I would give them top marks for that. <laughs> I'm gonna be very picky with this kind of stuff because my heart has always been with Holbein gouache, which I'll show you, like, color representations of that stuff. Mm. And it's about the same price for, like, a pretty smallish set of, like, Holbein. So I want to see what I think is more worthwhile. And anyway, we'll jump to speeding up this footage now because I don't expect you guys to sit there and like in real time. <laughs> but you watch expect me. me, sir. I'm still here. That's because we're in love and you signed up for this. <laughs> <laughs> One eternity later. Okay, so here are all the colours. I was oh, trying wow. to do it pretty quickly, so it could be a bit more aesthetic. They but... do look nice, I have to admit. I watched you the first row and then sort of went into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> and then you said you were done and I woke up. So there, if I zoom out here and just, if you just hold that there, again, what I'll do is, there's the swatches then on the left and I'll put a picture of the box art with them all on the right. I've got a few notes that I want to say about Ooh. Like, the colours. Alright, go for it then. Um, one of the ones in particular was sap green. I wouldn't really <laughs> say that that's a sap green. Out of all the colours, the one you have a problem with <laughs> is sap green. It also looks kind of similar -ish to the pale green. So I kind of wish there was a more real sap green there. <laughs> Quite a few of them actually had like different tube colors. So I recommend swatching them all just to be sure of what the colors are. Otherwise mm. you might be saying, oh, that'll be a nice picture and well, a nice color in my painting. And then you <laughs> go and put it in there and then it's like- Just looking color. at this tube ruined my picture. <laughs> lilac then? as well. To me, that mauve seems more lilac than the lilac. Oh, so that seems... one down there, yeah. Yeah, lilac looks more just like purple to me. <laughs> it does, yeah. Even I can tell that's kind of purpley. I did notice that some paints were a bit like gloopier than others. Gloopy. Which, um, looking on the top of the box, it does mention that some colours are like more opaque or like transparent than others, so I guess that makes sense. Yes. But even so, I've got like other gouache brands that are less gloopy. With the price, they've got to be student yeah, grade. Yeah, at like a dollar a tube, I mean, come on. Yeah, it works out something like that. Whereas um, if you're paying for like more higher end ones, mm -hmm. I think you're then paying something like between like four and like six quid for like a cheap. Just for just for like yeah. one of those, so, yeah. Because I haven't had a look at my other gouache <gasps> swatches. Ooh, we we're have... gonna compare. Okay. Yeah, we can have a quick comparison. So these are some student grade gouaches that I have. And these and... are by. Uh, Karen Dash. Oh, okay, yeah. We've got like a video on these if you ever want to check it out, guys. Do it. Uh, I'd say that these also had like a similar gloopy kind of texture that a lot of yeah. these ones had. Okay, so Ooh. these are like my all-time favourite paints. Oh, your Holbein ones, yes, yeah. Yeah, and in like comparison, I still mm. think like Holbein is like the holy grail of gouache. Well, a lot of people do think that, yeah. We're in the UK and we have to import to get like Holbein over here. Yes. So that is like an, a factor where it's annoying that you've got to pay to get it in from like a different country. Whereas Arteza, I mean, credits to them, they are pretty easily available on like Amazon and stuff. Yeah, that's where we got all of these from. It was a set uh, on Amazon and it came in like two days. So that's pretty incredible. The shipping was free as well. Another thing to bear in mind as well is that Arteza, um, they do tons of like art products. So I can't vouch for whether all their art products are good. It's kind of strange for someone to dabble in so many so art many. products. Mm. If there is an, 
Oh God, how do you even pronounce it? Arteza, Ar Ar there we go. If there are any Arteza art supplies that you would like us to cover, like honestly, and we'll actually buy them in, uh, let us know and we'll give it a go. Also, the lime green was not lime green. To oh, me, okay, let's go see. it was like a muddy lemon. Oh, that's such a good name, muddy lemon. <laughs> Why couldn't they have called it that? That's a great name. Another colour that I found kind of quirky is that there's quite a few pearl colours which have like a bit of a, a shimmer oh, sheen up here? to them. Pearl. Like oh yeah, yeah. The gold as well, bronze, silver. And I quite like Ooh. this one, the pale white rose. Oh, that's catching the light really nice there, yeah. That looks really good. One of my least favourite ones that I tested. <laughs> oh god. It's probably the yellow orca. But I noticed um, in a lot of like cheaper gouache sets, the yellow ochre is sort of like the maximum gloop paint. <laughs> Ma maximum gloop. It's, it's like such an opaque, gloopy, gumpy colour. The colours, the, the swatching was a bit boring, but um, <laughs> the colours are really pretty. So uh, even, uh, hey, even I'll give them a go. Yeah, I'm interested in your input on them as well. This is my third time using gouache do <laughs> Don't expect anything groundbreaking, guys, but we I'll give it a go. We used to call them gouche. <laughs> Yeah, gooch, gooch paints. Gooch paints, that was it. <laughs> Pass me the gooch paints. <laughs> I decided to try and paint a parrot because we have a lot of colours. Can we have a moment to appreciate that he's using my bin lid from my bin art masterpiece? Can we talk about the fact that the bin that I made you're using as an actual bin so I can't even wear that thing anymore? I think it's really sweet that so far the colours that you've like picked out yourself is a blue and a yellow. <laughs> the doodle bag colours in black and white, yeah. <laughs> colours that I can just about manage, basically. Yeah, in case you were wondering why, like, our doodle date colours are, like, yellow and blue, it's because with Adam's colour blindness, I thought it would be sweet to pick things that I knew he'd be able to see. Probably. The colours that I can see, basically. <laughs> like, is this, is this logo cool? It's like, well, I can see it. So what I wanted to have, like, a quick talk about while you're putting your sleeve in your <laughs> Oops. <laughs> It's the, the reason why I wanted to film this video is because as we mentioned, there's a lot of like promotion basically going around yeah, for like this brand at the moment. really popular right yeah, now. Yeah, it seems to be like huge. I've never heard of them. And now it's went from like never hearing about them to now non-stop hearing about them. It's like, why haven't you done a video on RTs yet? Or... Yeah, we've been getting asked that quite a lot. In the past, we have been gifted um, some art products by companies and we've always mentioned whenever we've been given them. Yes. But it makes me curious, especially with like how tight money's been for us recently. We still get companies offering like free art supplies to us, but I feel reluctant to take us up on it. And I know this might sound ridiculous because I've just mentioned that we're like we're hard up for money. But also, I don't want to be given free things. We're hard up for money, but we're cash rich in morals. <laughs> Well, it's just, when someone gives you something for free, I feel like I'm obliged that I have to be a bit nicer about it than what I would have And been. some companies do, like, we have had sponsorship offers in the past where they say, like, oh, could you do a video on this? And we're like, oh, that does sound fun. But then they're like, but you have to say this about it. Yeah, and they'll give you, like, an exact script or something. So if you ever see, like, and not necessarily artists, but YouTubers doing sponsorships for stuff. If they all sound very similar, it's because they've been told to. Basically, <laughs> they have to say those things. This isn't like to drag or call out like uh, other artists or YouTubers and stuff that do do sponsorships, because at the end of the day, you know, you, you got to make that coin. Everyone so. want that coin. But uh, you know, I'm power to them if they can do that. That's great. I want to experience the product with my own money, if that makes sense. Well, like, it's guilt-free then. If you if you're like, oh, this is really sucky, you know, you you have no guilt because you paid for it and you didn't potentially like it, so you can say that, you know. Say if you were doing like a sponsorship, yeah. um, an art company would like rightly pay you a few hundred or thousand or something. Depending on your size, yeah. Not that we've ever had one, but you know, it depends on like how big your audience is. Do you is. think I'd be using a trash can lid as a, <laughs> as a pallet if we were paid a few thousand dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I think a very small pet peeve that I have is that a lot of companies they'll send out free art supplies which a lot of the time the art supplies that they send out are worth like 10 quid or 12 quid or something but yeah. then it's like they do it in expectation that you'll give them a positive glowing review and I feel like come on like I don't want to sell out my opinion for seven quid. Fair enough, yeah. this paint set was 60 quid. Maybe I could have sold out my opinion for 60 quid. <laughs> Honey, we're better than that. <laughs> 
realistically, I'm not sure if I'm going to be accepting, like, free art gifts on the channel anymore. That's fine. We also have some tea experiences to share <laughs> with you guys regarding those too, so... When it comes to doing anything with, like, art companies, it's very, like, each person will have, like, their own morals and, like, standards of what we'll do it to. Like, for example... Oh, of course! Yeah, yeah, absolutely! Some people will absolutely refuse to do, like, any sponsorship unless they've got, like, creative freedom with it. Some people might just hate a certain company and be like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, although you do sometimes get people who think, like, I hate this company, but wow, they are offering me some kind. <laughs> I hate this company. Sixty dollars. <laughs> yes. It's like, does that make someone a bad person? Like, what if they're struggling to pay for like bills and like food that way? Well, it's like the, and then that's a paycheck. It's like the story of like the the poor child who stole bread for his starving family. Does, yeah, does exactly. That, does that make that kid a bad kid or? That's the thing. I don't want to feel like I'm painting artists in a bad picture either because this is like. <laughs> All the artists like... are like in their comments like, how dare you? <laughs> this is like a social economy problem. <laughs> We were sent some art supplies like in the past. Yes, that, like, we, yeah. I've used quite a lot, I ended up liking, but I never really took the price into account because I was giving it for free. And you have to bear in mind when you're giving something for free, you're even a kick in the legs like something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> There's been like products in the past where they've started to like run out more recently and I thought, oh, I should like go and like rebuy that pen or whatever because I enjoyed it. Then I see the price and I'm like, I'm not paying that much for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, wow, I showed that on the channel. Like, it's a nice product, but is it worth that much money? Not sure. Should be like me, er erasers and pencils and pencils. You can chances are you can find them on the floor. And if you get really <laughs> if you get really stuck, you can erase with bread. So I'm really I'm really basic. Erase but with bread. Bread's a good eraser, yeah. What? Well, stay tuned for that video, guys. <laughs> yeah, totally, guys. If you've never seen it before, we'll let. Uh, we'll I've show never you. seen it. <laughs> yeah, bread's a really good eraser. Oh, thank God we're back on someone that knows what they're doing. <laughs> what are um, you doing, honey? Okay, I'm just in the sketching phase at the moment, mm. and you might be a bit confused about what this is but I want to basically do it as like a little color study okay let me uh, let me have a look see Ooh. okay so it's meant to look like a little game screen window oh I see yeah recently I've been making a little game uh, here's like some screenshots of what I've got look so how cute this game is oh my god I'm just doing it for fun basically it's got like a very limited like Game Boy style yeah. colour palette and I want to have a go at trying to replicate that with the gouache because we've got so many colours. That's so much... Oh, that's such a better idea. That pearl scarlet I'll use as this pink. Oh, so you're going with like the... Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll go with that. I need to find a purple, which that lilac's probably... <laughs> the closest. lilac which isn't lilac, it is purple. You know, looking at it, there's not actually many purples like in this set. There's like quite a lot of like blues and pinks, but the purples are sort of... Well, they maybe they're just sort of expecting you to sort of, sort of like mix your own. You're right there. I, I just got upset at the idea of having to mix my own colors oh. when I've just paid oh this God. money. I paid $60 to mix my own purple. <laughs> mix it for me. <laughs> These paints should mix themselves at their price. Just on the topic of sponsorships, guys, I don't want us to ever promote something that we don't think is good. The, we've this... also had like ridiculous ones where we've had people reaching out that want me to do like eye contact sponsorships because I wear glasses and I'm like screw you guys you I like a... wearing glasses. <laughs> Can you do an art video where it just focuses on the contacts the whole time? <laughs> Okay, so before we actually show what we've done, 
what do you think of him, sweet? Some final thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, is that, is that Jerry Springer? Didn't he used to say, <laughs> and now it's time for my final thoughts. Let's just start beating each other up with foldable chairs. We've got some in the wardrobe. <laughs> Oh my god! So before you bait me to death, what do you think about these paints? Could you edit one on screen of me just like <laughs> throwing a chair around? I'll try my best. Okay, so final thoughts <laughs> with me, your host, Jerry Springer. I'll give myself a bit longer to get like acquainted with them. I enjoy the shoebox packaging. That was like a fun to... surprise. Oh my god. <laughs> And you definitely get quite a lot, but like I was saying, it depends on, I guess, like, your view on, like, quality versus quantity. This is basically a set where you get a lot of stuff with a lot of colours. Yeah. But the quality is obviously a bit more eat. And then if you went with something like Holbein, you're going to get a lot more quality, but a lot less paints. Yeah, so would you recommend this as, like, a set for, like, a, be a beginner who's seriously considering gouache, or...? That's what I'm struggling with, to yeah. be honest. I don't know who necessarily to like recommend it to, because if you're like a beginner, I would advise you getting like the smallest, cheapest gouache yeah, that you yeah. can get. This isn't gonna be it. I think they do a smaller size one than this. Yes, so yeah. Maybe... I think there's like a thirty or twenty-four set. Do you know how much money that is? I'll put it on screen. Can you put like a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on whether I think the price is? Coming? I've added an emotion to it. <laughs> Do you want to show them what you did with these paints? Yeah, Steph's game. Steph's actually working on a game, as she's shown you, and this is looking very similar to how the game looks, actually. You've done a really good job. Do you want to see what mine is? Oh, yeah, you haven't seen yours. Oh, what God, is it? hold on. Thick parrot. <laughs> Why has he got such a massive anime eye? <laughs> because he's thick and he does not fit. Right. Thick parrot doesn't fit anywhere. That's a mood. Cool. My impressions were, <laughs> gouache is hard. There you go. Thank you, our friends, for joining us as usual. Goodbye for now. And I'll be linking, like, a bunch of other, like, gouache videos that we've done in the past. Watch those, too.